Hello everybody. Uh, so welcome back to another video with me. Um, Nikki. <laughs> um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the button down below because um, I walk you through real time tutorials. I'm teaching you to make um, a variety of different products. Um, so today what I'm going to do um, a um, requested video with the health pandemic that's going on, the global pandemic um, regarding uh, masks. Um, I already have a, a video up on how to make accordion masks, but um, today we are going to make um, masks with the arch for the nose um, to cover up that nose. Um, I like these because um, you don't have to have the metal piece um, that goes on top onto the nose piece. Um, it sort of like fits on the face. So um, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you two different um, ways of doing it for closure. I'm going to show you how to create it using elastic and also um, with ties. So for this project, you're going to need to get into the links below um, for the pattern. Okay, and then once you do have the um, the materials, um, you're going to need some outer fabric um, for the outer piece. You're going to need some lining fabric, um, any lining fabric. This is 100% cotton. Um, I do not recommend putting uh, nylon on your face. I do not recommend um, putting polyester on your face. Um, you can do the research for the different types of fabric because obviously in the stores they're selling different types, you know, but um, that's just my my personal opinion. Um, like I said, I'm showing you how to do it. You do the research in terms of what you need, what supplies you need. Um, I am going to put another layer of cotton inside of here. So this is 100% cotton as well. Um, so we're working with three layers of 100% cotton um, for this fabric, for this project. You can also, um, you're also going to need some elastic, okay? Um, females tend to need um, less than the males. We are working with right here, six inches of elastic, um, which will actually be this portion right here. Um, I've had a lot of feedback after making, you know, tons, hundreds and hundreds of masks. And so um, uh, we're working with six inch fabric. I mean, six inch um, elastic. Okay. If you're going to be using ties, um, I've also done many, many um, masks for individuals that need tie, that requested ties. Well, I'm going to use um, a shoelace, um, a set of shoelaces. Okay. So, um, I bought these in bulk, but you can get them, you know, for very reasonably priced. Um, do not get the kid size shoelaces unless you're making it for a child. Um, you want to get the adult ones that are, you know, anywhere from, um, 32 inches. So make that, um, I got some that was 36. So, um, they have 36, they have them as, um, 54 yeah 36 and 54 so that's a good size for the adult and I'll tell you why when we get to that point okay all right so let's get started the first thing we are going to do is we are going to work on connecting um, the left side with the right side of the um, of the panel of the face um, you know what how about I show you how it looks first haha <laughs> okay here we go um, this is one that um, has the laces. So um, when it comes on this mask, and I'll give you the pattern um, for two sizes. This is really good um, for females. This is a smaller version. And I'll also show you a picture of the difference in the sizes so that you can see which one. Um, so this is a, what I call the regular size. And then there'll be a pattern for um, a large the larger size covers um, almost, it covers all the nose, but it covers like just underneath the eye and all of this. Okay, so look at the difference. Okay, mm -hmm. so you see this? 
<laughs> okay, so if you see this here, okay, <laughs> all right, the colors, it covers a good portion all the way across the face, okay, and the nose. The larger mask, um, and like I said, what I'll do is I'll put a picture on so you can see the difference in the size. But what I have come to learn over, over this pandemic is that um, these regular, as I call them, regular size ones are preferred by females. Males cannot fit these. Males um, sometimes tend to have broader faces, so they need the large ones. Okay, um, so let's get started. What we're going to do is we're going to work on connecting the left side with the um, the left side to the right side of the um, piano, the faces. Okay, so we are going to layer the fabrics. This is the outer fabric. Okay, like I mentioned before, we have the outer, and eventually, what's going to happen is okay, I'll flip them so we work like that. They're going to be sewn um, to look like this eventually. Okay. So we're gonna layer these right now, okay? So we have um, the outer fabric. Now we're gonna put the inner fabric. What I was doing was I was putting um, some flannel in some of them, okay? But like I said, I'm not going to go in depth about that. You can do research and see what you prefer. I'm using three pieces of cotton fabric right now. So all I've done is lined the outside fabric with the inside um, fabric right now, okay? And I'm going to put these pretty sides together. Pretty sides together, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to sew from the very top here all the way around the curve down to the bottom. You're gonna backstitch and um, we're going to close that up using a quarter of an inch seam allowance or for those of you who have um, seen some of my other videos I like to call it um, the second guide marker um, because I show you when sewing you know what the guide markers are so let's go over here and I'm going to line up the edge of the fabric with the second guide marker there okay so it's right there at the second one okay and a back stitch. Now you're starting on a curve. Don't get scared of the curve. Just line up the fabric with the second guide marker and just take your time going around the curve. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do not, do not pin this material. When you are sewing mask, the goal is you are trying to keep out um, dust, particles, germs, etc. Um, and again, these are not going to be medical grade. You guys all know that. Um, um, so, um, but the whole point is, is that you want to keep out um, particles. So do not poke holes, do not use uh, pins because then you're poking holes in your masks. Okay. Okay, so this is what we have right here, all right? But what we're going to do is we are going to put some tiny snips. Anytime you um, sew curves, you wanna put a few snips in the curve. When I am snipping the material, look at this. I am snipping close to the stitch line, but I'm not stitching past that. Um, I'm not cutting past that stitch line, okay? This, what it does is that it gives it, um, okay, it gives it um, room. So when you open it, it allows the fabric inside to actually um, go to a direction and it, it relieves some of the stress of it being an actual curve, okay? So what we're going to do now is put this to the side for just a moment. Grab the outer fabric. This is the part of the fabric that goes on the nose, that goes on your actual face, okay? Another reason, that's another reason why you don't wanna use polyester. Um, you'll be sweating, <laughs> okay? So um, one of the good things about this 
uh, nose piece is because it allows you to breathe um, a lot easier than the accordions do um, because of this portion of the mask which is out so it allows you to breathe a little bit you know a little bit easier than the accordions which are flat okay so we're going to put pretty side to pretty side okay of the material all right pretty side to pretty side all right if you stare at your fabric um you'll be able to know which side is your pretty side versus your your wrong side because you can see the dullness in the material and um you just know that one is dull and flat um you'll see <laughs> you'll see the difference between it the front side is always shinier okay so we're going to go and do the same thing um line up that um line up that guide marker with your fabric okay back stitch and back stitching going on that curve and again remember you are not pinning back stitching okay all right Okay, so now what we want to do, remember, we're going to snip to relieve. Um, we want this to curve nicely inside with the layers. Okay, so now we're going to connect um, the pretty side. So turn your, this is the lining part for the mask. And we're going to put the pretty side of this fabric with the pretty side of the outside fabric. So this is the back part that's going near your mouth, but we're going to put the two pretty sides together, okay? And line them up at the seams, okay? So put them together, line them up at the seams, okay? Just fit it on top of each other, okay? See this? And what we wanna do is make sure that your seams are lined up because, you see this right here? Here's your seam here. You wanna make sure that, you see the seam? You wanna make sure that this is lined up with each other because if not, you don't want the nose piece to seam over here, you know, when the outside is, um, you know, further in the opposite direction. So it creates a bulk and you don't want that. So what we're going to do, we're gonna take make sure that one seam is facing one way and the other seam from the back is facing the opposite way. Okay, that also helps you so that when you turn the material right side out and you're going to do a top stitching, it helps so that um, it reduces the bulk also, the, um, the bulk in the top so that your needle doesn't get stuck in the top curve. Okay, remember we're not pinning, so what we're going to do, make sure your edges are lined up and we are going underneath the machine and we are now going to sew from this portion all the way across the nose bridge to the other end and then stop. You'll have to shift it, you know, maneuver it a little bit underneath the machine, but that's normal. So you see how I got it lined up right now? Okay, all right. So, so from here all the way across. All right, I'm gonna line this up again, corner to corner. I'm just gonna check the seam again, beautiful. Okay, here we go. And I am sewing. Um, for those of you that don't know the measurements, I'm at that second guide marker again. <laughs> and I'm all I'm doing is I am repositioning the fabric as you know as I'm sewing and I'm holding it when you get to the beginning of the bridge for the, the nose area make sure you actually turn that fabric okay All right. and now I'm going around the curve and this is why we want the um, fabric for the seams going in different directions because watch how easy it is for me to go over this um, over this bridge part. Watch. You see? Very easy. 
Okay, now I'm just going to make sure that I line this up because you see it shifted as I was sewing. I'm just going to line it back up here. Okay, make sure that my tip is lined up. This is beautiful, they stay together. And now I'm getting ready to go down the curve here, the curve that goes around the cheek now, leaving from the nose portion around the cheek. So I'm going to make sure that I curve my fabric. Just watch my hands. I'm curving my fabric. That's what I'm doing. And now oh, I'm going to, there we go, curve. Okay. And I'm at the end. I'm going to backstitch. Okay. That's the hardest part, getting over the nose for people that are not used to sewing curves. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna close up the bottom, okay? The bottom down here. And all you're going to do is backstitch and we're gonna sew, you see this part here? That automatically wants to curve. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure our seams are lined up again. Seams are great. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this under the machine, right? We're gonna sew a straight line, but the goal is when you actually get right here, right, because it's a natural, it wants to curve up, you're just going to make sure you pull it open and continue sewing across. Make sure that your seam at the bottom is facing the same way that your seam is at the top. So if you look here, the seam is facing that way. Well, make sure that this seam is facing that way as well, which means if this is going this way, this seam underneath should be facing the opposite direction. Okay, let's do it. All right. <laughs> Back stitching, because that's what we do. Okay. And now what I'm doing is I'm just giving it a tad bit, a tad pull to straighten it out as I sew over. And I like to backstitch a little bit right there at that nose portion. And backstitching. Done. So you're actually almost done okay now here is where it's going to differ depending on if you want to use ties or I'm just cutting off stragglies because <laughs> just because okay here's where it differs um, for if you choose to use elastic versus um, strings okay uh, laces um, what we're going to do is we're going to use elastic for this one here Okay, so get this six inch piece of elastic. Okay, and what you're going to do, you're gonna curve it like this. Make sure that your elastic goes the same way. You wanna make sure it's not twisted. Okay, make sure it's going the same way. We are going to tuck it between the outer layer and the inner layer. Um, well, no, the outer layer and um, the pretty outer layer and the outer layer that touches your nose okay so um, the two pieces that are facing touching each other okay tuck it inside I like to tuck it right against my stitch line right there it's nice and cozy there okay I have this right out the edge I'm going to do the same thing here I'm tucking it in here now, when I start to sew, I'm gonna have to maneuver this with my finger, okay? Um, I'm a lot quicker when I'm not doing a tutorial because I can just naturally hold it, but I'm actually showing you, so. But I'll show you when I start to, um, when we sew over here. So what we're going to do, because um, I'm going to end up pulling this out, uh, just for camera purposes to show you, <laughs> okay. So, um, so you see this, I'm going to have it out the same distance um, as the top one, okay? It's just that when I pick it up right now, it's going to slide. Do not pin, okay? <laughs> um, you don't want to poke holes, okay? All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> you know, at this point, I'm going to have another mask. <laughs> okay, this so will continue. Okay. And I'm back stitching over the elastic. Okay. All right. But what I like to do, um, because we put a lot of stress, we put a lot of stress on the elastic every time we put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. I'm going to do another sewing line because, again, like I said, we go for quality. We don't rush through projects. Okay. And um, backstitch over the elastic again. Okay. Because when it's on your face and you're pulling it um, for the elastic to fit, you just want to make sure that you're giving it enough. Um, and I'll show you. Well, I'll show you right now. Look, we go like this all the time. You see that? Boom, boom, boom with these elastics. So if you only put one stitch, one line, who knows if it's going to pop? You know, give the quality. Do it again. This is why we like homemade things, handmade things, instead of buying the ones, you know, I mean, instead of using the ones that we see, those super flat blue ones from China. I mean, we love China, but so. <laughs> um, so, okay, so go the extra step and give it, you know, that extra sewing line, okay? Now go to the other side, and we're going to tuck this in the same way, okay? The same way. And what we're going to do different here, okay, so I'm tucking that in, tucking it in, and just make sure that um, however, however far in you place the elastic on one side, do the same to the other, because if not, one elastic is going to be longer than the other, okay? All right, so now here's what we're going to do with this. We're going to start sewing here, but we're going to stop right about right here. We're going to only we're only going to sew about 2 inches on here, okay? We're going then we're going to leave the space and then we're going to go down to the bottom and we're going to sew down with the bottom because we got to turn this thing right side out. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. All right? So push that up there against the seam against that stitch line. And again, I'm, I'm, my fabric is still lined up at that, um, it's still lined up at the second guide marker. Okay. So look, I only sewed down that much. That's all. Okay. And now I'm going to do the bottom portion. I need to reposition, um, because I just, um, pulled the elastic out. Not pulled it out, but I turned it by mistake. Make, I'm making sure it's not curved. So, because you don't, you want to make sure. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, which I'm actually glad I just checked because I I curled it by mistake. Okay, <laughs> so here we go. So I'm tucking this back in because I know how much I left it out on the other side. Okay, and we want it even. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave that space right here, and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do the bottom. So down the bottom. I'm going back stitching over the elastic. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put those extra stitches right there um, over the elastic again. And it's about an eighth of an inch from the original sewing line. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So now, all right. And now what we're going to do um, is we're going to clip off the corners. So grab your scissors, clip off the corners, um, don't cut those stitch lines, okay? So clip off the corners. This is going to reduce the bulk when you turn it, you know, for the elastic, um, once you turn it here, so that you don't have a whole bunch of extra fabric, you know, underneath, inside, causing it to be bulky, okay? Gonna move that out the way, okay. Okay, 
Now, what we're going to do, I'm just going to get my finger, stick it in here. And when I stick it in here, I'm just going to push it right side out. Okay. And pull. I push from the corners. Now I'm putting my fingers into the corners. I'm going to use the elastic to pull a little bit. Okay, I'm putting my finger all the way over in this corner, the other two corners. Okay, and get those corners out. That, those corners out, when they're out, they look when they look good, when you've taken the time to push them out, oh, they look great. Okay, look, so it'll look like this. Well, you need to make sure that you straighten it up. Okay, straighten it up. You can't put a top stitching on before you um, actually straighten it up at the nose. Okay, so um, so I like to go like this, and what it does is that it rolls my seams down. Okay, so let's hit it with the iron. Let's iron. Iron everybody. You've got to make sure you iron. I iron everything. You know that if you've watched my other videos. <laughs> Do not iron your elastic. Okay, I'm just doing a quick, quick um a quick quick iron here notice that the area that we um when we turned it okay it naturally folded over because we left a little extra um seam room space we, we you know we left um we didn't sew right at the edge of our fabric okay what i like to do at this point i like to get a my chopstick and um what i like to do is go back into that hole. I was just about to say, where was it? <laughs> the hole. I like to go into the hole. I'm using the pointy side of the chopstick. And this is just the, the, the tedious person in me. I'm poking the corner lightly just to make sure. Because I can see, there we go. I like to see that. Um, I like to make sure that my corners are, in fact, all poked out. Because you see how that looks um, pushed in? Okay, there we go. And that's just because of the um, fabric inside when we when we folded it. I mean, when we um, when we sewed it. Okay. Now, um, we need to close up the hole. Okay. So this is where you have the option. Okay. You have the option to. Um, you have the option to not do a top stitch. Okay. Um, I top stitch everything. If you don't want to top stitch, meaning take that extra few minutes, well, you don't have to. So you can, um, just close up the little hole, you know, close it up right now if you want it to. Okay. But take a look at the top stitching. Look at the difference with the top stitch. Okay, when you top stitch, everything looks great. Okay, so it's up to you whether or not you want to go ahead and put a top stitching around the top. Again, like I said, if you don't want to, you don't have to. But I'm going to do it right now and I'm going to show you. Okay, this is the time where you want to make sure that you are using coordinating um, thread. You want to use coordinating thread because... I'm switching out my, um, I'm switching out my thread real quick because you're going to see it on the top. Okay. Now here's a little trick. Okay. If you're using a different color fabric on the bottom. Okay. What you can do on whatever's on the top of your fabric. Let's say you put, let's say I have pink on the top. Okay. Let's say I chose for my bottom to be blue. For some reason I'm saying blue, or let's just say black, right? So what you can do is change your spool so that the top color, your spool is gonna be the color that's on the top part of your fabric. Whatever's on the bottom part, that needs to go in the bobbin on the bottom. So you see here, this one, I chose white, but the fabric is black and white. So I left white in the top part of the spool and I left it on the bottom because the white fabric, you know, is there, you know, for the bottom. Okay, so you can do that. 
All right, what we're going to do now is we're gonna close this up, okay? You can really do one of these in about 15 minutes. So um, I'm going to start at the bottom and we're going to sew very close to the edge. We're gonna sew one eighth of an inch from the bottom, okay? That's what we're doing right now. We are going to go all around this mask. So we're gonna start at the bottom, okay? And we're gonna go all the way across, all the way around. We're not gonna stop going all the way around back to the bottom corner. I love to start in the corners because when you turn the mask over, you don't wanna see, you actually have to look really hard to see where I started sewing here, <laughs> which is good. That's what you want, okay? So if you really look closely, you can see I started in the corner. That's what you want. You don't wanna be able to see that you started in the middle and see that back stitching, you know, what is, you know, the knot. So start in the corner. That's the hole that we left, okay? Um, we're gonna start in that corner just because um, I like to feed the fabric through, okay? We're starting at the bottom. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm using the first, um, the first guide marker. Okay, so I am um, going to backstitch. I'm gonna use the guide marker that's closest to the needle, okay? And I'm on 3.0. I like the way the stitches look, the stitch lengths look from um, at 3.0. This is the final part of this project if you are doing elastic, okay? The shoulder. If you need to, take your time. When you get to that curve at the top, if you're not used to sewing curves, make sure you take your time, okay? And if you can really see, I'm just riding along, I'm riding my I'm writing my um, fabric along that guide marker because I'm getting a pr I'm getting an awesome straight line, even distance. Okay, we're almost, we're back at the beginning now. This is where we're closing up the hole, and what you don't even realize is that you're putting an extra stitching on the elastic again as we go over it right now. So in the corner. So now that means your mask now has three, um, it has two inner stitchings and it has um, one on the top. You sew all pretty. So look at that. Okay. All right. Oh, so now just hit it with the iron just to get it into the shape. And that's it. So that's all for that. Okay, you can iron it and it will be, um, you can iron the top of it. Okay, I'm just, <clears throat> all right. Okay. All right, so now for those of you that are doing um, shoelaces, okay, what I'm going to do, I fast forwarded through this, okay? So I have some fabric here. And what I'm going to do, for those of you that are doing shoelaces, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do this part. Um, instead of using um, elastic, we're going to use shoelaces, okay? And what I'm going to do is, so is this is, we're making pretend we already did the whole mask, you know, and now I have these sides that are open, okay? Get your shoelaces. Okay, and what you're going to do is put your, um, you want to make sure you have the two together, okay, the two long ones. Um, you want to make sure you put your aglets together, um, so you have your two laces. So now we want to line up all four aglets, okay, and what I like to do is I like to, I know that this was 36 inches, but what I'm going to do you can decide for yourself how long you want it. If we were to cut this in half, this would be way too long. Oh, how about that? It's longer than 36 inches. This must be 42. Sorry, guys. I bought these in bulk. <laughs> okay. So um, so here, here's my one. We'll go from this side. I forgot I'm 
working upside down. <laughs> so there's my one. Um, 18 inches is too long. <laughs> so we're going to cut this at 14. Okay, 14 is good, which I've learned, obviously, from doing many, many masks. 18 is too long, unless you have a head full of curly hair um, and you want extra long. Some people do have a head full of curly hair, like my daughter. Um, um, but 18 inches is too long, so I cut these at 14 inches. Okay? And now, what we're going to do is I'm going to take two of them, right? because <clears throat> we're doing for two sides so bunching these up right like that bunching them up like that I'm going to stick them inside okay so there is um, my outer fabric inner fabric I'm gonna stick these inside there okay stick them inside and the only thing I want left up are the shoestrings okay that's all I want left up all right I'm going to tuck them down, obviously, so that they are at the same distance from each other. We don't have to worry about them curling at all because um, we're going to grab them from the inside. And we're going to sew them just like we did the elastic, okay? Closing up that whole side. Yeah, it doesn't matter how you put the um, the laces in because, you know, I'm putting in that extra stitching, guys. So just so that we have the two. So notice that um, when I originally started sewing, I'm using white. But this is just for you guys here. Um, and obviously, this is pink. So, um, you know, I I know that I'm using two different ones. But the outside of this fabric right here is pink. I'm not going to do the top stitching on this one. I'm just showing you how to do laces. So again, all I'm doing is curling these up, curling this up so that I can tuck this inside. And I'm putting this where I'm leaving pieces out. Okay. We're going to line up at the edge. And again, I am stopping um, a little portion of the way down because we gotta have room to turn it around. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm closing up the bottom portion. And go ahead and put those extra, um, that extra sewing line for the pull. I have found that a lot of, um, I've been making these in bulk for, um, for nursing facilities and for hospitals. And they love the ties because they have to fit over um, N95 masks. Okay, I'm cutting stragglies. Okay, now you're gonna see, I'm going to do the same thing that we did on the other side. I'm just going, oh, hold on. We need to clip these. <laughs> okay. Clipping that and clipping this. Yeah, if you're wearing a um, N95, uh, laces are better or if elastic is uncomfortable okay and so I know again I know how much space I left out with the shoelaces and now you're going to see why it doesn't matter um, now you're gonna see why it doesn't matter um, how you put the shoelaces in because they're just hanging out in the corners I'm pulling <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, there we are. So, you have the, um, you have your laces. And, of course, then you would go ahead and do the same thing that we did with the first mask. Okay? You know, iron it, obviously. This naturally um, will close itself. I just tucked that in right there. 
okay so it naturally just closed itself okay cut your cut your straggly before you actually sew if you have to okay but um but yeah so you would go ahead and um you would um sew it do the top stitching and that will be it i don't need to show you guys that because like i said we did it for the earlier portion but look so when when this one goes on you can actually put the ties so they go behind your ear okay behind your ear i'll tie it <laughs> okay okay i use i wear it underneath my underneath my hair but so you see so you see this so you can put it so that it goes um so that it goes over your ear but under your hair right or you can tie it on top of your head okay i'm not going to tie this on now because then you won't be able to hear me <laughs> but um yeah because if i tie it then you won't be able to hear me but there's that portion there so that you can talk you have room for your mouth to move all right so um that will be it we did the ones with elastic and i showed you how to do the ties for the arch all right so you know what to do if you have questions put them down below and um you know i'll get to you i'll answer your questions otherwise sign up for my facebook group um sewing made easy um with nikki um i answer questions and you know um we support each other in that sewing group as a beginner sewing group um, and you can get at me with the other links. Okay? So that's all for now. I will see you for the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.